Hi, my name's Andy, and I am a carnivore. Actually, I'm a hyper carnivore, which defined is someone who gets at least 70% of their nutrition from animal-based products. Now, I do get more than that, but I also have the occasional pickle, spoonful of olives, and now and then I have a Diet Coke. But I'm also not plagued with hypertension or anxiety or, or, or the fact that I have a Diet Coke and every once in a while doesn't bring me to a quart of ice cream. You know, I can handle something sweet every once in a while, some fake sugar, or, but that doesn't turn me into an animal for four days. Um, if I do kind of stumble with whatever it is, I jump right back on and I do really well. Now, I've been on this journey for about four months and I've lost 30 pounds. 29, 28, 31, you know, it varies right in there every week or so. But little by little, I'm losing which initially was my main goal but I also have type 2 diabetes now I have a doctor's appointment in two weeks so I asked him to go ahead and order my labs right now so that we can discuss them when I get there well let me say four months ago I took myself off of half of my type 2 meds and also one of my blood pressure meds and since then my blood pressure has been fantastic I thought the machine was broken several times at the pharmacy uh, how could it be so low it's never that low it's it's normal now I still am on one but I hope to get off of it and we will discuss that at my uh, at my appointment but my a1c puts me at pre-type 2, which hasn't been since 2015, was my, uh, was my lowest compared to today. So, uh, it, I'm doing well, and I'm sustaining it. There's nothing better than a, a ribeye or a chuck roast in the crock pot, and basically I do a pound of meat for lunch and uh, a pound of meat for supper mostly um, I do indulge in some heavy cream and cheeses but m more at first but not so much anymore a little bit but if I were to make some cheeseburgers I would not only put a slice of cheese on each half pound burger but I would also eat four slices while I was cooking um, I mean I love cheese but but it can also you know go without and like Laura Spath says I use it sparingly like for a dessert or something like that get some real quality cheese and then cut a chunk off and then eat it after dinner uh, which feels like a cheat or a, a, a treat, I guess. Not a cheat so much. But I'm just a normal dude. And I feel like people could benefit from eating on the carnivore diet. Uh, if nothing else, I notice radical changes in my blood pressure. So if you're one of those guys or gals that has blood pressure issues just do it for two weeks and check your blood pressure it'll make all the difference in the world it has for me I mean I would go in every time and they'd be like you must be nervous being at the doctor uh, you must uh, oh geez did you have coffee this morning uh, you know and I'd always make an excuse or whatever until finally he put me on another uh blood pressure medicine on top of the one I was already taking which like I said before I took myself off four months ago the day I started the carnivore diet I was like after reading and watching YouTube videos 
and based on the fact that uh, meds are like 15% of what will help you to cure slash lower your A1C, uh, I thought diet is the way to go and, uh, and so far so good. I, I get frustrated with the scale sometimes, but when you're losing two pounds a week or, or even one pound a week, it makes a huge difference in the long run. And it's not like I'm suffering. I'm not suffering. I'm, I'm eating well. Yeah, I, I, I do the intermittent fasting because I, you know, like I have a window from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something like that. So uh, I get up pretty early. So if I eat my lunch at 10 a.m., then eat my supper before 6 then for the rest of the night, I try not to eat anything. I mean, not that I don't snack. I sometimes have some pork rinds and, and this kind of thing, but but it's, it's not that often anymore. At first, you kind of have to do that to keep your sanity uh, and to get that crunch and stuff, but, but to eat crispy bread or something like that, when you realize there's four teaspoons of sugar in each slice of bread, uh, that will shock you, you know. And I would prefer to eat a, a half a loaf of rye bread over a half a piece of cake. So, is that my downfall? In my heart of hearts, but that doesn't mean I'm cheating on carnivore with bread. I don't do that. Uh, do I have cravings for bread? On occasion, I watch the British Baking Show and, you know, Bread Week. Oh my gosh, they have this huge pile of bread on it. But I'm telling you what, uh, satisfying myself with a pound of meat and a couple of tabs of butter and uh, and knowing that you're not really hungry. I mean, I am, I am hardly ever hungry anymore. Uh, do I have some issues that will eventually require some Western medicine? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I have some shoulder pain, but that that comes and goes. But lately, it's been null and void. So, um, yay for me. Um, that being said, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Andy. I am a carnivore. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, you're watching Andy's Fargo shenanigans. We're up here in beautiful downtown Fargo, North Dakota, and and uh, it's winter, and uh, and we just move on from here. Uh, most of the food that I cook is in a crock pot or a cast iron skillet. And uh, if you'd like, please give me a follow. I'll update a video when I have my doctor's appointment. And have a conversation with old, uh, you know, my doctor there. And obviously, he doesn't know I'm a carnivore, but my numbers reflect that I'm doing something. And I'm very curious to find out uh, his reaction to not only my weight loss, but my A1C. Uh, my my cholesterol numbers are good. Uh, it's actually pretty shocking because uh, I can look at my my medical chart and it shows my past with a graph and I can click on that and I, I mean even though some of my numbers are quote unquote high they are much lower than they were the last time I was in there six months ago uh, so that being said just uh, hey, if you like what you see I'm just a normal dude I'm telling you about my experiences I will, um, I'll catch you on the flip. Andy's Fargo Shenanigans. Give it a like and a follow, eh?